Let me tell you a little something that uh, that uh, through the years God has blessed me in so many ways. I've been singing gospel music over 40 years. And uh, I was the sixth child. I was the baby. We were poor folks. We were sharecroppers. We were poor folks and didn't know it. And I was glad I didn't know it. We had an old turkey that at home that was uh, poor. He had to lean up against a tree to gobble. But you know, I was so glad I didn't know it. But my dad and my mom took me to church. They got me singing in the choir. And then when I got out of school, I married a wonderful lady down there at hometown. We had two children. This is one of them sitting right here. She had a brother that was 20 years old when he got killed in an automobile accident. A lot of you folks know what I'm talking about, but I've still been blessed. She just wrote a poem for me, gave it to me in July this year for my birthday. She'd been working on it for a long time. And I asked her to come and share it with you tonight. Would you make her welcome? Diane Antonelli, my daughter. Thank you. This all came about um, in raising my own children. I'm a new mother again, back at home in North Carolina with my husband tonight. I have a four-year-old daughter, Mia Margaret, and we have a new son. He's four months old. His name is Tommy, named after my brother. And over the years, we've talked about our childhoods and what we remember about our childhoods and how we were raised and what the traditions were in our family, um, things that, that gave us our foundation. And every time I would think about it, the same four words would come back to me over and over, no matter whether I was thinking about discipline or having fun or anything like that, the same four words came back to me over and over and over. And those four words were raised on gospel music. For as long as I can remember, our house was always filled with the sound of my daddy singing, bouncing off of every windowsill. Now we learned our nursery rhymes, and we learned Jesus loves me too, but in our house it was a little different. We also learned the songs of the Florida boys and the Kingsmen. They were nothing new. You see, I was raised on gospel music and unconditional love. I was raised on gospel music and worshiping God above. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound, how great thou art, and more. That's how I learned about sin and grace and that coat that Joseph wore. My daddy sang in a quartet back then too, and we traveled many a mile singing gospel music to everyone, sharing scriptures and Christian smiles. Those songs were knee-slapping, toe-tapping, hand-clapping songs. The young, the old, they shared the joy and quite often sang along. When life is tough and I need a hand, my mind takes me back to those songs that Daddy sang in the car on trips with my brother and me in the back seat singing right along. I always knew my daddy's gift was a special one, singing songs to lift any heart. But I knew I was blessed because I was his right from the start. See, I was raised on good old gospel music and total unconditional love was raised on gospel music and worshiping God above. You got to remember, I could sing Amazing Grace, How Sweet the Sound, probably by the age of four. I could also sing If You Don't Like Shouting, because I was gospel to the core. 
My kids are now the lucky ones to learn their papa's songs. And just like me, they'll take them through those times when life seems long. They know their light shines for him. And they know Jesus loves them too. But most of all, they know the Lord and that Papa knows him too. I was raised on gospel music and it shaped my life today. It helps me rid my heart of trouble and get on my knees to pray. I was raised on gospel music. Thank you, Mom and Dad. The childhood we enjoyed living was the best that could be had. Whoa. 